hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is patience today i'll be teaching you guys how to cut and pad a straight bustier blouse or dress so before we get started kindly click the subscribe button if you have done that let's get into it I'll be using this beaded lace and it is six yards and I'll be using a lining and a dull face satin fabric and I'll be drafting on this pattern paper. There are several ways to cut out a bustier pattern and I am going to be using this method of cutting out the middle piece and then the side piece and I am going to be using the boss pan measurement. The bust pan measurement is the distance from one nipple to another. To know the length of the pattern paper to use is to measure from the shoulder to wherever you want the top. So I'll be using my shoulder to waist which is 17 inches. My bust pan measurement is 8 inches. So the pattern is folded into two this way. So I'll mark half of my bust pan measurement which is 4 inches and I'll be adding my sewing allowance on this pattern paper so I'll be adding half inch on the bust pan measurement that is four and a half inches so to know the width of the pattern paper you need just add extra two to three inches on the bust pan measurement just in case starting from the shoulder line I will mark my upper bust measurement now the shoulder to upper bust measurements is 6 inches on an average. So the upper bust is where your bust starts from. That is where you, you wear your two dress or top. Now mark my shoulder to bust point which is 10 and a half inches and my shoulder to under bust point which is 14 inches and shoulder to waist which is 17 inches and I'll be adding half inch for sewing allowance that is 17 and a half inches this is the shoulder line the upper bust line the bust line the under bust line and the waist line on the bust line I am going to mark my bust pan measurement and half inch for sewing allowance that is four and a half inches now I will minus half inch from this four and a half inches that is four inches and I will mark the four inches on the upper bust line so I minus half inch because I am not busty if you are making for someone that is busty you minus one inch And this 4 inches goes straight to the shoulder line. So on the shoulder line, I'll mark 4 inches. Still on the bust pan measurement, that is the 4 and a half inches. I'll minus 1 inch from the 4 and a half inches, that is 3 and a half inches. So I'll mark the 3 and a half inches on the under bust line. Now, if you're making for someone that is busty, you minus one and a half inches from the 4.5 inches so the three and a half inches on this under bust line will go straight to the waist or to the blouse length you want i'll connect this four inches and also this three and a half inches so from this point to this point to this point, I'll be making a curve this way. And I will cut it out. Like I said, this three and a half inches goes down to the hip or wherever you want the blouse to stop. So this is the middle piece. 
Now, if you're making for someone that is busty, you mark the bust pan measurement on the bust line, which is four and a half inches. And I am going to minus one inch from the four and a half inches on the upper bust line. That is three and a half inches, and it goes straight to the shoulder. And on the under bust, I will minus one and a half inches from the 4.5 inches. That will give me three inches. So it goes straight to the waist or the blouse length. And I'll make a curve from this point to this point to this point. This way the cup comes out more. As you can see, that is how to cut for someone that is busty. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. On the fabric, if you are cutting it out on your fabric, you need to note the shoulder and the waistline to avoid confusion. This is the middle piece. Now I am going to cut out the side piece. This is the summary of what I just did. The shoulder line, upper bust line, bust line, under bust line and the waist line. On the bust line, I marked half of my bust pan measurements, which is four inches, and I added half inch for sewing allowance, that is 4.5 inches. So on the upper bust line, I minus half inch from the 4.5 inches, that is four inches. And I said it goes straight to the shoulder, so I also marked four inches on the shoulder line. And on the under bust line, I minus one inch, that is 3.5 inches, and it goes straight to the waist. And I said this 3.5 inches goes down to the blouse length. Now I'll mark all my circumference measurements. So I'll mark the shoulder width, and I am not going to mark the upper bust measurement on the side piece. I don't need the upper bust measurement, so I'll mark the bust measurement and the under bust and the waist. So my shoulder width is 16 inches, divided by 2 is 8 inches. So I'll be adding half inch for sewing allowance and half inch for ease, that is 1 inches. So you don't need to add the half inch for ease, it is because of the style I am making. I want the shoulder to come down a bit. So 8 plus 1 inches, that is 9 inches. Now from this 9 inches, I am going to minus this 4 inches because I have already gotten my middle piece. So this is the middle piece and on the shoulder it is 4 inches. I used 4 inches on the shoulder. So I am going to subtract the 4 inches from the 9 inches. That is 5 inches. So on the side piece on the shoulder I am going to use 5 inches. My bust circumference is 41 inches. Quarter of my bust circumference is 10.25. Like I said, I don't need the upper bust measurement. Now on the bust measurement, where I have my bust pan measurement is 4.5 inches. So on this 10.25, I am going to minus the 4.5 inches. That is 5.75 inches. And I am going to be adding 2.5 inches for side seam allowance that is 8.25 so on my bust measurement i am going to use 8.25 my under bust circumference is 35 inches quarter of my under bust circumference is 8.75 now i am going to minus there's 3.5 inches on the under bust that is for my middle piece so minus 3.5 inches that is 5.25 plus 
2.5 inches for side seam allowance that is 7.75 inches so on the underbust measurement i will use 7.75 and my waist circumference is 36 inches quarter of my waist circumference is 9 inches so i am going to minus this 3.5 inches that is 5.5 inches and I'll add 2.5 inches for side seam allowance that is 8 inches so on the waist measurement on the side piece I'll use 8 inches so for the side piece the cup is going to be replicated this way from the folded edge and here we we'll slant the shoulder and we we'll have the armhole the bust point, under bust point, and the waist point, and then we'll curve the armhole curve that is the arm's eye, and we'll mark all the circumference measurements. So, I'll do all these on the pattern paper now. From the shoulder line, I'll mark my chest line that is the armhole line which is 8 inches and I'll mark my shoulder to bust point 10 and a half inches shoulder to under bust and shoulder to waist so this is the shoulder line the chest line bust line under bust line and the waist line and I am going to replicate this curve on the folded edge and I'll align the shoulders this way so the biggest circumference measurement is 8.25 so to know the width of the pattern paper to use to cut out the side piece you just add like two to three inches on the biggest circumference as you can see i have more than enough here remember i have already added seam allowance to all my measurements so i'll pin this down and ensure the lines are aligned as you can see and i am going to replicate the cup this way on the folded edge and i'll mark all the circumference measurements from this line from the calculation here the shoulder i have five inches so on the shoulder line i will mark five inches starting from this line as you can see and from the shoulder measurement i'll come down by one inch and slant the shoulder I'll mark this shoulder measurement on the chest line starting from this curved line I'll connect it this way so from the mat here on the bust line I have 8.25 so on the bust line I am going to mark 8.25 starting from this curved line and on the chest line I'll add half inch on the 8.25 that is 8.75 and on the under bust measurement I will mark 7.75 and on the waist measurement I will mark 8 inches starting from this line as you can see To create the arm's eye, I am going to mark the midpoint of this line and for the back arm hole, I'll go in by half inch and for the front arm hole, I'll go in by three quarter inch. So I'll make a slant line to the edge of the shoulder this way and create my arm curve. So 
I'll add half inch for sewing allowance on the shoulder and I'll make sure on the fabric I also add half inch on the middle piece. So I'll cut out the back armhole first. I'll be using this as a pattern to cut out the back piece. So these are the front side piece and the middle piece. So I'll make sure to add the half inch on the fabric for shoulder allowance on the middle piece. And after cutting the back armhole, I'll make sure to cut the front armhole. Now to cut out the neck width, if you want the neck width to be 3 inches or 4 inches, you can go ahead and cut it out on the middle piece. But if you want a wider neck width like 5 inches or 6 inches, then you have to join the pieces you have to join the side piece before you cut out the neckline now I am going to cut the back piece exactly this way this is the back piece on the middle back piece I added one inch for zipper allowance So on the back piece, what I'm going to do is I will cut out the cup because we don't need a cup on the back piece. So I'll cut it out this way. And I will make sure on the fabric I mark the shoulder and the waist. And that is it for the back piece. Right now, I'll be showing you guys how to cut the bust pad on the front piece. So I'll place the middle piece this way. And I'll make sure my pattern paper is at the under bust line. Starting from the upper bust line, I'll trace the curve this way using my tracing wheel and I'll cut it out so this is how I'll cut the bust pad on the middle piece so to cut out the side piece I'll place my pattern this way and from the chest line which is 8 inches I'll come up by 2 inches that is 6 inches for my upper bust line now from the 2 inches, I will make a curve this way down to the under bust line and I will ensure this piece here on the armhole. Using my tracing wheel, I will trace out the curve. And cut it out. So I'll do the same thing on the other side piece. So that is how to cut a bust pad. So I'll be making a dress with this pattern. So I'll cut it out on my lining first. As you can see, and I've cut out the bust pad and iron it on the lining. And I am going to add an interfacing to give it shape. And extra support so the interfacing I used is a light one so I doubled it also on the back piece so I'll be using a doll face satin fabric on the dress I am making so I've gone ahead to cut it out on the doll face satin fabric and I added an interfacing so this is the back piece and this is the front piece I have also cut it out on my fabric
I have actually laminated this as you can see how beautiful it came out so it makes the interlining and the lace fabric one so I am going to teach you guys how to do this and I will sew the full dress on the next video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!